entering the den next, a Niagara-based lawyer who is confident he will have the dragons drinking in his every word. Hello, my name is Frank Rochopo from Niagara Lake, Ontario. My company, the Sellers of Niagara Lake. I'm here seeking an investment of $250,000. $50,000 for a 50% interest in the startup company, together with a $200,000 investment to be repaid back to you by way of a royalty at 10% of sales. My background... Go ahead. I just recently secured the approval to construct, design and construct these absolutely amazing in-rock subterranean limestone cellars on the Niagara Escarpment in the heart of Niagara on Lake, Canada's wine country. We have an incredible site of in-rock limestone wine cellars. This produces the absolute premium conditions that one could ever ask or require for the most highest investments. You have the perfect temperature and humidity. Also very important, is that subterranean means there's no vibration. There's no other site in Canada that I'm aware of that has all of these attributes. Can I just back it up for a second? Yes. So, so the, the investment is for us to develop this land to make cellars to build a winery? Not to build a winery. Okay. A storage facility. Yes. Just to Correct. build a storage facility. So I, I am the founder and co-owner of this much larger site. Okay. Um, we have not launched anything. We have just completing the site plan approvals. This gives you an overall setting and that... What is that, housing? Correct. It is a future development of... Yes. I'm going to have to start billing you for my time, Frank. You Absolutely. need to get to the Absolutely. point. So, <laughs> uh, they're townhouses, so, yes. Frank. So Are we, they townhouses? They're townhouses and apartment-style condominiums in this okay. setting. Okay. okay. So we, but we're not investing in that. That's something you're that doing That is correct. Your own. I okay. am spinning off separately. In this case, I would be selling this new corporation. This investment would be an interest in all the subterranean rights on this property. Okay. I have the ability to design up to 100,000 square feet of cellars. Okay. And then okay. I would. Okay. Okay. So, so your would, pitch should have started with, yes. I want to build residential wine cellars in my block of real estate. Yes, but it's not just those who reside here. There we get is, that. We get that. Right. Okay. Yeah. There is. The art of the pitch, Frank. The art of the pitch. Yeah. Okay, here. Concise here. and to the point. Thank you. I believe I can generate $5 million of project net income. And I believe that I can construct a cellar at $100 a square foot. I believe I can sell a cellar at approximately $200 a square foot. The desire and demand is there. The demand for this at $100 to $200 a square foot, I don't see. This is not California, this is Niagara on the Lake. Frank, do you have any people interested? Have you pre-sold any? Um, so it is a startup venture. I just completed yes no. the site plan yes approvals. No. I have warehousing interest. So there's a second. Do you, do you have anybody interested, ready In to put up $200 a, a square foot to buy one? Um, I have interest from wineries for warehousing. That is they're the, not yeah, paying that's, you $200 a square foot. That's a different match. I, I, the answer is no, I have okay. not gone okay. out into that's, the marketplace for know. investors. Okay, I got that. I got that. Frank. Yeah, so just a, quick, a simple yes or no works a lot quicker here, so, but it's okay. Yes. Uh, what year is the development complete? In three years. Okay, so 2019. Uh, and do you own it? Do you own? I, I am a co-owner. You're a co-owner. Yes. What? What's a co-owner? What kind of um, percentage do you I, have? I own one percent. One percent of of the total master plan. Of course, I wish I owned more. There's no question. Oh boy. Frank, I don't believe there is the demand here. And more importantly, based on the way your pitch has gone, I don't believe in your ability to sell these units because it took us 15 minutes to figure out what you were selling. I'm out. 
I guess the big concern I have, Frank, is, is I know that there's a lot of, because I live in Caledon part-time, and there's a lot of uh, restrictions on building or restrictions on moving uh, dirt, water. There's a whole bunch of restrictions. You can't do anything on 60% of one of my 100-acre uh, land plots. Now, the escarpment would have similar things, because you would need to do some I, blasting as well. It is done. I have I don't believe got it. everything absolutely so blasting is completed. No, we would not be blasting. We extract the rock by wire saw. I want, so we, there's no I way this is happening at $100. Man, I, no way this is happening at $100. I, I have one of the foot. premium contractors. No, Everything you're saying, wires, every person is questioning. Yes, I, I'm stating to you that I am extracting limestone today at a cost of $100 a square foot. These sellers Frank, are at 16. Frank, Frank, stick to your day job. I'm out. I'm stating to you that. If there, if a winemaker wants, but or anyone Frank, wants hold it, we, we've heard the pitch. Sure. Yes. And I hear long. if, 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 if we do this, if we do that. I don't imagine that with all that size of that property, and I do it a lot of developments. That's a 20-year, 25-year project. I'm not going to be around in 25 to reap the benefits by any stretch of imagination. And for that reason, I'm out. So yeah, Is there, I, I think it's it's. Kind of strange how you're articulating this whole concept. You know, the fact that you're a lawyer and that you work in words, it's been very difficult to get the story out in a concise manner. And uh, probably because it is a little bit difficult to think about how you're going to build for a hundred bucks a foot. And then again, the demand side of it, I don't know if that's been proven out well enough. So based on all of that, I I'm going to be out. Okay. As you can see, the dragons are dubious. I, I'm proposing, in order to reduce your risk and investment, that we don't construct but it's not 20, really 30,000 square feet. It's us. Uh, I am absolutely interested. That's what should have came through. No, no, seriously. I'm, you got to think about I'm, it. You, you, you should have came through. There's no guarantee this will complete. This is risk capital. It's not a loan. Correct. Or you'd be at a bank. Yeah. No, it's true. So transparency is the biggest thing that you came out and did not do. You had to state the facts as they were. If you don't state the facts, it leaves people unsure on your credibility and unsure on your capability. For that reason, I'm out. Thanks, Thanks Frank. Frank. Thank you. Thank you. Why do lawyers think they become developers? Because they see how much money people Other make. Other people can make. If he couldn't sell us an idea in less than 15 minutes, oh, how could he ever God. sell a unit? Never.